Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my Greek yogurt. There's absolutely no special equipment needed, no crock pots, no instapots, just a pot on the stove, some glass jars, and an oven. So let's get started. Okay, so in order for your yogurt to culture, you're going to want to start with either a fresh yogurt from the store, you're going to want to make sure it has live and active cultures in it, or you can start with whey from a previous batch. So this is whey that drips off of the yogurt once it's made, um, and this is now what I use to start my next batches with. So I will pour these before I get started into three quart or three pint mason jars. These are basically half gallon jars. I'm gonna use the whole gallon of milk, so I'm gonna separate it into two different jars. We eat quite a bit of yogurt because I and both my boys have it for breakfast every morning. If you don't eat quite as much yogurt as we do, then you can just cut this recipe in half and do one jar. Um, in that case, each jar will take about a half a cup of yogurt or a half a cup of whey. I forgot to mention that you will need a thermometer. I have this candy thermometer, but I used to just use a regular digital meat thermometer and that worked great too. So I just have this on medium heat, and what I want to do is heat it to between 185 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to keep stirring it every so often just so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. Okay, so once I get to between 150 and 175 degrees, then I will prep my sink by filling it with some cold water and ice, and that I will use to cool the yogurt down. I always end up with a little film on the bottom of the pot from it heating. So you just want to make sure you're not scraping that off by stirring in like this and scraping the bottom. I'll just kind of gently stir like this and barely touch the bottom while I'm stirring so that you don't scrape up any of that um, film on the bottom. Okay, so we've reached 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna stir it here for just a moment. Okay. Turn off our heat and I'm going to transfer the pot right into the sink of cold water. So now what we'll want to do is cool the milk to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. You will get a heat pocket around your pot, so make sure you agitate it in the ice water every so often to get fresh cool water around there. Okay, so we are at 110 degrees, I'm going to pull this out. Now I want to temper the whey or the yogurt that's in the bottom, whichever one you're using. Take that out of there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk to each jar. And then I'm gonna give those a good stir. Now I'm gonna use a ladle and scoop the rest of the milk into each jug. typically will leave a little bit left in the gallon just because if I use the entire gallon then it'll overflow. Clean off the rims. And then I'm going to throw these in the oven with just the light on for about six hours is what I found works the best. I read on other sites that you should wrap them in a hot towel before you put them in the oven. I used to do that and it worked, but I found that it's not fully necessary either. Okay, so it's been about six hours. I'm going to take these out of the oven. You can see it is solidified quite a bit. So I found that if I give these a really good stir and then put them in the fridge overnight, they will solidify a bit more. Okay, it is the next morning, and I've just pulled the yogurt out of the fridge. 
Also, slowly improving on this video quality because whatever lighting I had going on yesterday was atrocious and I apologize. So I have the yogurt out. If you like a thinner yogurt, you can just eat it just how it is now. So you can see that it has thickened up quite a bit even more. But if you'd like to make it Greek yogurt, then you'll have to strain it. I have a bowl, a colander, and I used to use cheesecloth, but it started to add up in cost because it was like $5 a pack and I would use it for maybe three batches. So I ended up getting these mesh straining bags, which were also annoying because they were too long to pour the yogurt in and scoop it out. So I ended up cutting one open and I will just drape it right over my bowl. And that makes a nice flat surface that's easy to pour and easy to scrape out once it's done. Okay, so let's get that poured in. So my size bowls will only do one container at a time, or my strainer, I should say. So I'll kind of pour in and then straighten this out as I go. And you can already hear the whey starting to drip. So what this will do is strain out the extra whey, which is that like yellowy liquid stuff that we started with. And it'll make a thick, Greek style yogurt. You can probably see that dripping out already. So I will leave this in the fridge for most of the day and then once it's ready I'll scoop it into containers. So this is gonna go back in the fridge for the rest of the day. Okay so it is the next day again. We were out yesterday afternoon and by the time we got back it was too dark to film. So what I did was I scooped the yogurt from the bowl into a yogurt container. I have saved a few yogurt containers from the store and that's what I use now to package up what I make. So after I package that one, I pour the next jar into my bowl and I now have my next batch of yogurt that is ready to be packaged. So if you like a really thick yogurt, this is about what it will look like once it's done straining. It will be pretty easy to pull away from the cheesecloth and scoop it right out. So let's get to that. Okay, so if you're making this Greek, then each half gallon jug will make about one 32 ounce container of yogurt. So circling back to the beginning, what you're left with after straining is a yellow whey that drips off. And this is what that whey looks like. So then what I will do is take a glass container and pour some in to keep in the fridge. And that's what I will use now to start my next batch of yogurt. The rest of the way we will use in our compost or to pour on our blueberry bushes because this is acidic and blueberry bushes need acidic soil. So that just helps in both of those applications. So there you have it. That's how you make Greek yogurt. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if you try this for yourself and had success. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.